Well, he's been a state senator for nearly 10 years, but now he's seeking a spot on the Alabama Supreme Court. We're talking about state senator Cam Ward. Cam, thanks for joining us today. I want to ask, you're known for being a state senator. Why now are you looking for a spot on the Supreme Court? I think I'd be a fresh perspective on the Supreme Court coming from the legislative branch of government where we make laws, uh, going over to the court where they interpret the laws and needing to separate a clear separation between the two, I think makes me a uniquely qualified candidate. It's different, but at the same time, I think my experience in the legislature uh, overseeing as chairman of the Senate Judiciary for the last 10 years of thousands of laws that were either passed or killed gives me a very unique uh, perspective, but at the same time, uh, a, a breath of fresh air for the court. And one of the things I noticed about you, Cam, is that you are all about the people of Alabama. Whether you agree with them, whether you disagree with them, you make it a priority to always respond to them. How would something like that be beneficial to you if you do get a spot on the Supreme Court? Well, I tell you, that's what I got in politics to begin with. I love interacting with the people. Whether we agree or disagree, I think that's the beautiful part of our political process. Uh, as far as running for the court, you know, I think there's a disconnect sometimes between the voters and the court itself. It, you know, the court appears to be this distant place where no one has access or the opportunity to interact with people. And I think I could do that. I don't think just because you're a Supreme Court justice or any kind of judge in the judicial branch that you should uh, not have the kind of interaction we have in the legislative branch. Let's talk to people so people feel more comfortable and uh, have more access to the government. So I, I think I'm going to continue that same role and interact and not just show up every six years of election, but actually show up all the time and talk to people. And Cam, are there any particular goals you have in mind if you do get this spot? Anything you're looking to fix in particular? Well, there's a, there's a few reasons. One, again, I think my legislative background brings something to the court that's not there now. Uh, someone being from the legislative branch of government who wrote laws, know what the debate was behind it, than actually going to the courts to interpret the laws in a strict way is good. That's one. Two, I would say there's a disconnect between the judicial branch and, and the executive and legislative branch right now. They just, there's no interaction between them. And it's created dysfunction in funding for our uh, criminal justice and civil justice process. But it's also created a situation where it's as if it's another world of over the courts. And their separation has created a funding problem for the courts. And at the same time, has created almost an aloofness that we don't have to have. We can have a better court system by having someone who's been on the legislative branch of government. And Cam, I have to ask, this is the first time you're running for a statewide office. You're running against incumbent Greg Shaw, who's seeking his third term. That said, do you think there's anything that perhaps gives you a leg up on Shaw? I know Greg and his wife, Sam, and they're good people. And this is not about me running against them. This is about me running to offer something that I think I can bring that's not there now. And it's quite simply this. One, my experience in the legislative branch of government. To my interaction with daily voters every day, not just once every six years, right. but also the fact of the matter is my lawmaking ability. I've been proven to work with both sides of the aisle to get things done. And I think my experience in learning that part of the law gives me a leg up as far as what I can bring to the courts. And Cam, is there anything you want to ask or say to the voters before they head to the polls? I want to ask people for their vote for me. I'm not running against anybody. I'm not running against any issue. I tend to be a very positive person, and maybe that's good, maybe that's bad in this political climate. But for me, I want people to vote for Cam because they see me as something I can add as an asset to the court. All right, Senator, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Hey, Mike, good talking to you today. Take care.